Ladies and gentlemen, today is the time to observe a chain of command in which the reins of responsibility and leadership will pass from Lieutenant Colonel Michael Wheeler to Lieutenant Colonel Bryce Wunder. Throughout history, military organizations have developed unique flags to signify the positions of their leaders. In the confusion of battle, this standard provided a guide for all those to follow. Over time, these banners came to mean much more. They embodied the history of the organization, the dignity of command, and its hope for victory. They were selfishly and heroically discarded. Due to its symbol of great importance, the flags were incorporated into the chain of command ceremony. The banners were exchanged in public to symbolize the ultimate responsibility that comes with command and had been passed to a new leader. Just as it has done so many times in the past, Today's chain of command ceremony marks the turning of a new page in the 468th Chemical Battalion's history. With this event, we take a moment to look back, proudly and forward, at our leaders, our organization, and ourselves. The reviewing officer for today's ceremony is Colonel Dominic Dane, Commanding Officer, United States Army 455th Chemical Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, in a moment, the adjutant will direct attention and our ceremony will begin. Bring your units to attention. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the invocation. Our reviewing officer for today's change of command ceremony, Colonel Dominic Dane, he is accompanied by the outgoing commander, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Wheeler, and the incoming commander, Lieutenant Colonel Bryce Wonder. troops directs the unit to salute the official party and then brings the unit to order arms and parade rest in proper preparation for the invocation. Bring your unit to order arms and parade rest.
As we bow our heads in prayer, we gather to celebrate the works of Lieutenant Colonel Michael Lillard. We are grateful that he has been blessed with the enthusiasm, energy, and dedication during his time as a 468 Chemical Battalion Commanding Officer. We pray that we may all incorporate the best of Lieutenant Colonel Lillard's leadership into our own lives. And as he passes his responsibilities to Lieutenant Colonel Bryce Wonder, may Lieutenant Colonel Willard be blessed with prosperity and success in his future endeavors as a result of his dedication during his command. As Lieutenant Colonel Wonder takes command, may he be blessed with wisdom, with wisdom as he makes decisions that will have a direct impact on the lives of so many. May he be blessed with humility and the willingness to turn to others when he encounters new and difficult situations. May Lieutenant Colonel Wonder be blessed with the courage it requires to be a true leader. And finally, we ask a special blessing on all those who are affected by Lieutenant Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Wonder's willingness to serve. May they be comforted and cared for in his absence. We ask a blessing to be on this ceremony that it may safely and successfully go to plan. These things we pray. Amen. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to welcome Lieutenant Colonel Wonder's family. Sergeant O'Neill is presenting flowers to Mrs. Wonder, welcoming you to the unit. your units to attention and present arms. Company, attention, present arms. your units to order arms.
Kink Expand is a traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. Key to the ceremony is the passing of the organization's colors. These colors represent not only the lineage and honors of the unit, but also the cohesive unit of all its personnel, military, and civilian. The colors are not only the commander's symbol of authority, but are a visual citation of the responsibilities to the organization. Wherever the commander is located, so too are the colors. The custodian of the colors is the command sergeant major, who is the senior enlisted soldier of the command and the principal advisor to the commander. The passing of the color not only symbolizes the transfer of command and authority from the outgoing commander to the incoming commander, but also demonstrates to all the members of the command that while there has been a change of leadership, all remains steadfast to the mission as represented by the colors. The custodian of the colors is the sergeant major as a senior enlisted soldier in the unit and principal advisor to the commander. The ceremony begins as Command Sergeant Major Lewis passes the colors to Lieutenant Colonel Wheeler. Lieutenant Colonel Wheeler passes the colors to the Brigade Commander, thereby relinquishing his responsibility and authority. The Brigade Commander passes the colors to Lieutenant Colonel Wonder, charging the new commander with the same responsibility and authority. The authority of Army Regulation 600-20, paragraph 2-5A. The undersigned assumes command of the 468th Chemical Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel, Wheeler, Lieutenant Colonel Wonder, CA Commanding. Lieutenant Colonel Wonder will now pass the colors back to the Command Sergeant Major. Bring your unit to parade rest. Parade rest. Camp Robinson for this special event. We are gathered here today to celebrate the time-honored tradition of the change of command, where, we, where the responsibility, the authority, and accountability passes seamlessly from one commander to the next. Army regulations underpinned by centuries of Army customs and traditions directs that this ceremony be formally conducted in the presence of as many of the command's personnel as we assemble. Now I would like to recognize Lieutenant Colonel Wheeler and Lieutenant Colonel Bryce's wondrous family. Lieutenant Colonel Wheeler, although your family could not be here today, I'm sure we'd all agree our families are such an important component of the Army service. By providing a stable foundation at home, our families provide us the ability to focus on the Army's mission. And so at every opportunity, I believe it is important to express our gratitude for whatever they do each and every day in support of the soldiers, the Army, and the nation. Lieutenant Colonel Wonder, we are glad that your family and friends are here today to share this moment with you and the significance of the change of command. Lieutenant Colonel Wonder's family is here today with us, his mom, Aladna Wonder, his sister, Lysenka Wonder, spouse, I.J. Frame, mother-in-law, Grace Frame, and friend from his deployments. I know you have to be proud of Bryce. I want to thank you for sharing him with us. I know you all understand the sacrifices you will have to make for the next two years. 
I'd like to welcome Ms. Bao Thai Gay to the battalion and wish the, the two of you the best of luck the next couple of years of command. Now, as everyone here well knows, the Army's mission is truly unremitting, especially during these challenging times the American people will continue to rely on us to defend them from harm and to protect our national interests around the world. The responsibilities of a commander are absolutely essential and foundational to our wider mission of providing seabird combat ready equipment and soldiers that are truly resolute, ready, and lethal on arrival. Brian, your time here as the commander of 468 is completed. You should be happy of what you did. First and foremost, you managed the combat readiness level of proficiency. You did this through clear objectives, ensuring your entire team championed that culture of compliance and excellence. The last eight months, you've implemented a myriad of processes across the battalion that were not here before. And I believe that you have reinforced the ownership, accountability, self-sufficiency, and toughness. Lieutenant Colonel Wonder, welcome to the 468 Seabird Battalion. Your hard work and track record of success has been well prepared for the challenges you will face here at 468. The authority, responsibility, and accountability now go to you. I know you've heard me say this before, but I'll give you the same advice I've given every other commander that I've been fortunate enough to meet. Take charge, lead, fight, and keep your cutlass sharp and win. And if you need help, ask. No easy task, that's true, but I know you're up to it. And you and your staff must decidedly strive every day to ensure that our Seabird soldiers are indeed resolute and ready, and ready on arrival. The nation expects nothing less. Maintain the momentum of this great team and look forward to following your team's many successes. Now, let me shift my attention to the 468 staff. Congratulations on your many, many accomplishments over the last year. My message to you is this. Continue to be relentless on your readiness. I say this because the situation demands it. And as we all are witness over the last several years, the world is ever more dynamic in a complex place. The threat would take the form of a natural disaster, it could be a great power competitor holding our national interests at risk, or as we have seen this past several years, a pandemic. We must adapt to this new dynamic and complex reality swiftly and with a sense of urgency. You must own it. We must dispense with the mindset that we will build readiness just in time for the next plan deployment and instead adopt the attitude we are constantly preparing ourselves for the unknown and indeed have our duffel bags packed and at the ready. Being relentless on your readiness means upholding the standards and that steady strain in such areas as vehicle maintenance and preventive maintenance. It means tough, demanding, and realistic training. It means refusing to live with a temporary workaround or leaving redundancy in the motor pool. So my charge to you is be relentless on rehab readiness. Thank you to all of you, the men and women of 468. May God bless you and keep you safe. And may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Colonel Wheeler will make his remarks. Colonel Dave. Lieutenant Wonder, RJ, family and friends of uh, Lieutenant Colonel Wonder, thank you all for being here today. And thank you to the men and women of the 468 Chemical Battalion. Uh, thank you, I wish to thank you uh, for all the hard work that you have done over the past few years and the excellent uh, performance that has been seen across the battalion. The 468 is a great unit, and this is because of time that all of you put into it and the energy that you contribute both when you're in uniform and when you're out of uniform to make this organization what it is. You've each contributed to the lineage and history of the 468 
We brought it out of COVID and back into a high off-tempo training and mission environment. We participated in the 392nd's successful NCT rotation. We restationed both the 392nd and the HHC company. We've recovered the 323rd from its overseas mobilization. We've all contributed to the inactivation of the 375th chemical company and supporting the 360th in its uh, Korean mission. As well as just the mundane, everyday things that are required to build greatness and to build unit readiness and to build organizations. Everything from creating driver's training programs in 354 or 392 that never existed previously to working on weapons fall programs and instituting policies and processes to manage our personnel, promote soldiers, and foster an esprit de corps. This is all what you've done internally, but you have also supported not just the 466, but our sister battalions and brigades, as you've all, every company here has contributed personnel to either someone else's NTC rotation or overseas mobilization or other mission requirements. All of this is underwritten by the individual tasks you perform, which build into a greater collective success. Each of you should be proud of what you're doing because the brigade, the division, the United States Army, and the citizens that make up this nation are proud of you and what you do every day. <coughs> so I thank you again for your faithful service. I know you will continue this tradition of hard work as you supported me. I know you will support your new commander, Lieutenant Colonel Wonder, as he takes command of the 468 and brings you to an even higher level of readiness and greatness. Men and women of the 468, Veil of the Dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 468 Chemical Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Wonder. Good morning, team. I want to offer a special thanks to those of you who worked so hard to provide us with this beautiful ceremony today. It came out really, really awesome. Colonel Din, sir, my new boss, I am humbled and thankful to work for you. To the soldiers of the 468 Chemical Battalion, I am happy to be part of your family. Colonel Wheeler, I am sure you are ready for your next journey. Your hard work has set a high standard for me to follow, and I aim to continue to make this command one of the best in the 455 Chemical Brigade. I also want to express deep gratitude to my family, friends who have traveled many miles to get here. My mother who has supported me tirelessly, tirelessly in my career, even though she initially didn't think the Army was a good idea. And my sister, who herself is an Army veteran, who served both as enlisted and as an officer. My father, who is no longer with us, but I know he would have loved to stay. My spouse, who stuck by me despite nine years as a geographic bachelor and two separate year-long deployments. And my mother-in-law, who has supported both of us with unconditional love and support through the years. Our families also serve with us. They are the silent service. So I encourage each of you to thank your loved ones for their support. Our family is the backbone that lets us serve this great nation. I also want to thank my Army brothers and sisters. Present today are CW4 David King and First Sergeant Richard Kennan, with whom I deployed to Iraq. They kept me safe and usually kept me out of trouble. Top Kennan was also the Ops NCYC here at the 468. I also start to thank Colonel Wallace, one of my former bosses who mentored and developed me, and thankfully he never fired me. <laughs> thank you to all of you. To the 468 Chemical Battalion, I am honored and humbled for this opportunity to lead this world-class, hardworking, and fantastic team of soldiers. We will continue to provide chemical protection support for stateside missions as well as missions outside of the United States. I want us to remember that our Seabird mission is very important. As part of the warfighter, as a part of the protection and warfighter function, it is very important, and I also want you to remember that our profession is a dangerous one. What I'm about to say is open source, so don't get S2 after me. 
Just three months ago, three soldiers were killed in, by a suicide drone in Jordan. Additionally, a 40 additional soldiers were injured by this drone. Uh, some of them, you know, blindness, TBI, amputation. The drone was a Shaheen 101, costing about $20,000. So with $20,000, the enemy took out 43 soldiers and many of them permanently out of the fight. The enemy will continue to use this strategy. As chemical soldiers, we must always anticipate what the enemy will do. What if that drone were armed with chemical, biological, radiation, or nuclear agents? It's a very, very serious threat and very cost-effective for the enemy, so they will keep doing it. We always have to stay vigilant and keep our equipment, our bodies, and our minds sharp and ready for anything the enemy can throw at us. My commitment to all of you is that I will remain focused on readiness, training, and equipping this command for any mission the 468 will face. We will train, develop, and grow as a battalion with companies and staff providing mutual support. Will it be easy? No. Will we get tired and dirty? Yes. Will we have fun? Usually. Will it be rewarding? Absolutely. Soldiers love training. And as a result of our hard training, I will be able to say to my boss, Colonel Din, sir, the 468 is ready. If you need a battalion that can accomplish the mission, please send us. Final note, there is delicious food and cake waiting for you after the ceremony, so please enjoy. But just remember, hike and wait. Hike and wait. Thank you to all of you. Tale of the Dragon, all policies remain in effect. Dragon 6, signing in. Bring your units to attention. Tony, attention! Commanders, take charge of your formations. The men and women of the 468th Chemical Battalion are proud to have served with Lieutenant Colonel Wheeler and wish Lieutenant Colonel Wheeler and his family every success in their future endeavors. We also congratulate Lieutenant Colonel Wender and family on his duty as Battalion Commander of the 468th Chemical Battalion. Lieutenant Colonel Wender and family invite you to join them for refreshments in the drill hall. This concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of the men and women of the 468th Chemical Battalion, thank you for attending. Okay. Okay.